Hey YouTube, um, long time no talk. I mean, I have been posting again more recently, but it's been a very long time since I've done a video where I've actually spoken, mainly because I haven't really had time. And I don't like speaking, but mostly I haven't, I haven't had time. Um, however, as we're approaching 2023, I thought, start, or, well, I guess finish, but start as I mean to go on, um, and get trying to get back into doing this kind of video so I thought yeah now was a good time to just check in and say hey and chat about my art goals for 2023 um so yeah feel free in the comments to tell me about your goals art related or otherwise for 2023 or like a longer period of time um yeah, I'd like to hear what you guys are hoping to get done in the coming year or next few years. So, yeah. Um, I guess I'll get straight into what my goals are. I do have non-art goals as well, but I figured as this is an art channel, you probably don't want to hear about the other stuff. <laughs> so I'll just, yeah, stick to the art-related ones for now. Um, so the first one, I really want to post more reels on Instagram. Well, I say I really want to, it's more I feel I need to because the algorithm likes reels and I haven't until very recently been posting them at all, really, really, no pun intended. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try posting at least like three a week, I guess. Sort of, I do like a normal art post and then a reel and then a another art, like alternate days is what I'm getting at, um, purely to keep the algorithm happy, which, does that make me a sellout? I don't know, I mean, art is my job, so I do kind of have to pander a bit to what the algorithm wants in order to stay relevant, I guess, and so people keep seeing my work, otherwise I don't really have a job, so there is that, but I mean, having made a few reels now, I'm kind of less resentful of it than I was. It, it it can be quite fun. So, yeah. Make a lot more reels is probably my main goal for 2023. And then I guess linked to that is I want to try and post a YouTube video at least once a week. It might, I guess, more often than not be this kind of video where it's like a time lapse rather than me actually recording the screen purely because it takes me so long to like edit when I've screen recorded because I mean if I've got like six hours of drawing and I have to cut that down to sort of 10 minutes ish it's quite it can be quite tricky <laughs> so a lot of the time I don't have time to do that but I want to post at least once a week here I want to try for twice a week but I don't know how that's going to go um but yeah so sometimes I hope it will be screen recorded stuff and like stuff I'm talking to you and like tutorials and stuff, but it will also still be a lot of time lapses, I guess, just when I don't have time to do anything else. But it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> um, okay, the next one is I want to try and make at least three adoptable designs a month. Um, I like designing adoptables and I feel like that's kind of one of my stronger areas at the moment um and yeah so I think a lot of times I do three anyway but I don't know it can be a bit hit and miss so I want to make that like at least three each month I guess like in previous years sort of my main focus has been commission work um so I guess by setting myself a goal of at least three adoptables a month, I want to shift my focus from commission work to more sort of pre-made stuff, mainly designs, I guess, maybe some like merch kind of stickers and badges and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, or like your character here commissions and things like that. Rather than the bulk of it being commission work, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, yeah, because I do, I like designing characters. Um, you see the drawing I'm doing here, designing a 
an owl, but with four legs, because why not? But I guess it gives me freedom, and I kind of like that, which is partly why I went self-employed anyway, to have more freedom than when I was employed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and my next point on the list kind of tags on to that. I meant, like, I want to do more your character here and like I've got a lit like I have a commission to do list but I also have my own personal to do list of not personal like character OC art but like ideas for adoptables and for merch and sort of pre-made stuff um I want to try and get some of that done because I've had I've got a massive like really long list of it and because I've mostly been doing commission work I've not really had time to do it um I also have a bad habit of when I do have time because I've got so many things on the list I'm like I'm not actually going to do any of that I'm going to do something different (laughs) or and because I'm constantly sort of thinking of things to add to the list I kind of never get through any of it it's like I do one thing and then I've added two more by the time I finish doing it so it's just a never-ending list which is fine. I mean, it's better to have more ideas than none, I guess. But yeah, I want to try and actually do some of the stuff that I wrote on the list like three years ago. <laughs> um, yeah. And then I guess my last goal, well, it's two, but it's just a general like improvement stuff. I definitely want to do more background work. I would love to <laughs> be better at backgrounds, like, you know, like detailed backgrounds. Um it's definitely an area I need to improve on. And I want to improve my shading. Because I feel like I'm happy with where my style's going. But I feel where I've changed my style. Where shading used to be like a stronger point. It's now kind of fallen to something I'm weaker on. Where I've started focusing more on sort of trying to get more dynamic poses and stuff like that. And designing and all that stuff. Which is great and I'm happy where all that's going. But. I do feel like I've let the shading techniques slide and stuff. Um, So I'd really love to (laughs) get my shading back to somewhere where I'm happy with it. Um, So yeah, somebody in a different video asked me if I was going to do another shading tutorial. And I definitely will at some point, but I feel I need to be happy again myself with how my shading is. Um, before I make a tutorial on it. I don't want to give you guys bad advice, obviously. But yeah, I think part of it was, because shading used to take me so long to do, and it was just not really feasible without charging like way more than I was um, to keep doing shading like that, basically. So, I mean, I changed my style anyway. It wasn't to do with that, but I just needed to find like a quicker method. And I have, but I feel like I don't know, I just want the shading to be slightly better but not take as long. Um, So yeah, I'm I'm searching for that that middle ground kind of thing, I guess. So yeah, that's my art goals. I mean, (laughs) it's nothing wildly, you know, groundbreaking there, but I aim fairly low. Because like last year I set myself too many, too many goals. Um, I didn't get them done, so I'm aiming a little bit lower this year. But yeah, that's that's it for now. So yeah, if you've set yourself any art goals or any goals of any kind uh, for 2023, good luck. I hope you achieve everything you want to do next year. I hope it's a good year for you. Um, feel free to tell me your goals, as I said. Or to be honest, tell me whatever you want in the comments. I don't mind. I'm happy to read whatever. So yeah, um, happy new year. Good luck for 2023. Thank you for watching. Bye.